Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI as Arabia. So, we have a few mods installed and a lot of fun to play around with. We're doing a nice chilled out game. Uh, we have the Grand Mesa over here. I kind of want to move over to settle beside it, but I would live, I would be without fresh water, which would kind of suck. If I was to move over here, I would want to be able to settle a city um, maybe near the coastline here to grab all these nice fishing tiles. So I would want to move at least uh, three to four tiles away. I could move here. No problem. It would take me four turns to go settle on the thing. And then I wouldn't have access to fresh water over there. But if I settled here, I would have access to fresh water from the desert. So I think I might move just this way a little bit and go to this tile. And then I'm going to look around. Do I see any goody 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 huts? There's a goody hut up here. And... I guess that's the only one I really see, so we're going to go get it. And we'll go to the next turn. I like having this extra vision, although I think it might be a bit too much. Maybe you could shave it in by a tile or two. Just like take take it into this far. I don't need to see all of this. I think it, maybe it's a little bit much. But we're going to go here. We're going to settle right in place. Now, I mean, this is going to kill off the potential for a cool... Canal penis. <laughs> uh, tell me that doesn't look like a, a willy. Okay, listen. We're going to settle right here. Oh, Civ, you never fail to disappoint me. So we're going to settle beside Grand Mesa. That is actually going to get us some error score, which is pretty nice. We're just going to choose our research. We have a few choices. I don't know if I want to go for a holy site first. I think I'd rather kind of make my way up towards writing and go for a fast uh, thingy medoodle because I get the madrasa here. Uh, no, here. The madrasa, which is a unique building to Arabia, and it replaces the <coughs> um, university. So we'll kind of go along that way. Now, in terms of the first thing that we're going to build in here, let's see, what tile would we like to work? This is a pretty good tile. I would also like to get my hands on these two tiles. These are really, really nice as well. Uh, actually, there's going to be some really, really nice tiles around this guy. Um, Let's see. So I ignored jungle movement. I guess I could go for a scout. Hmm, do I want to go for a scout? Yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll just go for a scout this game. I usually, I usually wouldn't necessarily go for a scout, but I think it's a reasonable thing to do. It looks like we do have at least a reasonable amount of room. It looks like there is a city-state over here that we're going to want to go meet. Pick this up. And we got animal husbandry. Cool. There's a bit of error score. I'm going to scout up this way with my warrior and then maybe send the scout down this way to see if we can meet that city state. Although they are kind of behind a mountain range, so I don't know if that's going to be a possibility. All right. We are growing. We are building. We are doing all the right stuff. I think once I have 50 gold, I might buy this citrus so that I can get to a higher pop. Just that speech a little bit quicker. There's some bison. And there's our ma. Hopefully I was the first to meet them. I was, so I do get some faith from that. That is nice. It's going to hopefully, maybe, potentially help me get a little bit of more value out of my religion. What is your mission? You want me to send you a trade route? Well, that is something I could do uh, once I get that uh, civic that lets me get trade routes. And I think I will send them a trade route. I do want to, you know, get these benefits. Okay, I'm going to loop back up to the northwest. We've got two more turns until this guy is done. I think I'm going to buy the citrus. Um... I'm going to unlock this, rather work that, because it has better yields, and then I'm going to buy... Oh, this is 75. Oh, I guess I'm on epic speed, right. That makes a lot more sense. Yeah, I'm on epic speed, I forgot about that. So I think, because the city is limited by growth, I'm going to do this. I'm probably going to build a granary early here, so I can grow my city a little bit. We'll head up here. Any more city-states I see? Not really. Oh man, we could have totally done, like, cool canal stuff here. One, two, three, canal, one, two, three, canal. We could have had, like, a big heap of... We could have totally connected these continents. Too late now. Can't do it anymore. Although, mm -mm, nope. Nope. Can't do it anymore. Oh, well. It looks like there's a scientific city-state up there. We're about to finish our scout. So my choice here is either to go for the fast settler or to go for the um, some other thing. Like maybe a, I could get a builder. 
Uh, I don't really have tiles to improve right now. I could go for more units. I think that's a reasonable thing to do. I think I could go for more units. Um, I'm just going to pick up a slinger. Feel a little bit more secure with a slinger. And then we'll kind of play around with ideas. So you'll see that there is some cool new stuff here. This is the National Epic. It gives you plus one great person points of the type of all um, districts in the city. And it also allows the city to build one more district than the population limit allows. So this is a nice little national wonder that's added by the mods. I think I'm going to go for foreign trade because I do want to pick up a trader so that I can trade with our mom. I'm going to fill in my policy slots here. I'm going to put in extra production and double experience for recon units. The extra production will turn out pretty nice here. And I was the first to meet these guys too. That's going to be a nice little boost to science as well. I do think meeting these guys first is a little bit too strong. I think having a single envoy feels a little bit powerful. Okay, there is a uh, encampment over there. That is less than perfect. Let's keep exploring. Looks like there's another city state here and it looks like it might be a food related one. Excellent. I think I'll also make an effort to spread out my cities a little bit. A lot of people have been asking me to you know, space out my city. So in the interest of maybe making the game a little bit more interesting for people, I'll do that. I could settle right here and get an okay Petra. If I settle right there, Petra, Pyramids, no chops though. That's the problem. Very few chops on this map. So there is Mohenjo Daro. I was the first to meet them too, and I get plus two food in my capital, which is not super useful because I don't have any housing. But, that's okay. Let's see, what missions do we have for these guys? You send a trade route, trade an archer, and get a Eureka for writing. I'll send this slinger over here to see if he can deal with this. No man ever wetted clay. Okay, so we got pottery. We are growing reasonably quickly in my capital. And... I'd like to get an early campus. Let's make our way towards archery, though. And let's make our way towards riding. Mm, archery. I want to get the uh, envoys with these guys. I want to focus on maybe trying to get envoys, building a nice big empire, all that fun stuff, you know? Get some exploration off here. Go there, we'll go to the next turn. Here comes a slinger, two turns. Okay, unit needs orders over here. Cross this. Ooh, hello, goody hut. Have not really found many goody huts considering I'm using the goody hut mod. Which is mildly disappointing. There's a really crappy city down here somewhere. Okay. Let's see if we can't send you up this way. Now, do I want to get a settler or do I want to get a granary? I think my best move would be to get my hands on a settler at this point and then just save up and maybe purchase a granary if I can. Knowledge of archery and riding. Very cool. That should actually have given me another envoy with these guys. Very nice. So that actually is, is really awesome. I'm quite happy about that. Let's go ahead and pop up here. Okay. Looks like I ran into some more mountains. Really nice campus in here though. We'll eventually be looking to settle around down here to see if I can get that campus in position. Here is foreign trade. Okay. Oh, come on. Don't be a dead end. We have foreign trade. Let's pick up craftsmanship now. <clears throat> Gonna pop you up onto the hill. Provide you nice defenses. Hello, goody hut. We'll get the first attack here. That'll help. I'm going to replace the plus five combat strength card here. I should have done that before I attacked, but this will just make it so that I have a better chance of winning this fight without losing a unit. Excellent. Knowledge of irrigation and another goody hut. Ooh, exciting. So you're going to attack. Yes, and then we will attack back. Then he'll attack again. And it'll all be gravy. Oh my god, yes, the goody huts. Oh my god, a builder. Mm. So, I'm 
thinking. Let's uh, let's start planning out a few districts here. So I'm thinking an aqueduct to this lake. I'm thinking a campus here. I'm thinking a holy site. Maybe a holy site here. Um, I'm thinking we could go for... Well, let's see. We could go for... I think these are reasonable sort of tentative plans. Like, I, I would maybe do stuff like putting an industrial zone here. Um, maybe like an entertainment district type thing here. Like a water park later in the game. Uh, I could also put some sort of district here to get extra adjacency. Like a commercial hub. Harbor. Uh, what else can we place? Just for fun. Just kind of make uh, ideas here. Encampment. I guess I could put an encampment out here. These are just like tentative plans. These aren't like, this is what I'm doing. I could also put a aerodrome over here. Yeah, I think this is fine for now. These are like, these are cool ideas for places we can place stuff. We won't necessarily use all of these, but it just gives me a better idea of where I should maybe put stuff. I would like to get mining because there are like good tiles here that I can improve. Um, but I'm just going to hold off with this builder. I don't really have anything I can do with him that is meaningful. Oh, hello. And we were not the first to meet you. And you do have a mission. Your mission is to get a inspiration for a state workforce, which is to build a district. And we do plan on building a district. Too bad there's not really a flatland desert over here. Well, I guess there is technically. So I'm going to grab the volley promotion. That'll heal you. And you're going to pop down here. Oh, hello. It's an honor to meet you. We would love to sample your hospitality. I'm going to go ahead and send you a delegation. It's a little bit expensive. Let's see what you have. You have the Stone of Scone. What would it take? I would be almost tempted to declare war on you and try to take that off you, but... I got granted a free recon unit. Um, I suppose I could use that to just grab a little bit more information about what's going on up this direction. Not really much I can do with this builder for now, so I'm going to hold him in position and we'll think about what we want to do with him. Alright, let's pop up onto the hill and we'll get to killing. Are there any tiles I could buy that would be... Nice. Well, I would like a farm triangle here, actually. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to say this is going to be a farm triangle. I'm trying to remember where the farm button is here. Here. Just kind of playing nice and chill. Nice and chill. We'll put a farm triangle here. So what that tells me is I could improve all of these. Let's go check out down here. We'll head up this way. There's a scout. From this way. Okay. Definitely want to settle in around here and stuff. Don't know where I'm going to put my first city. May the forces of evil become There's archery. So we're going to bring you back and upgrade you into an archer once you've cleared this barb camp. Okay, cool. Let's choose our research now. Let's go ahead and get riding. I do want to get my first district up soon. Can't really do anything with this builder, unfortunately. Just the way the cookie crumbles. No little thingies over here. You're going to become an archer and then clear this barb camp. So there's that. We can get a pantheon. Now, how many religions are in this game? I can't remember. So... Um... I, I think I should also get myself a religion mod. I think that could be pretty interesting. Um, for... Uh, sorry, I tried to turn my body there and I'm really sore from exercise. Uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, the pain we put ourselves through just to look good, am I right? Now, let's see here. What kind of a game do we want to go for as Saladin? Well, I guess Saladin is kind of oriented towards, I feel, either religion, tourism science or conquest. He's kind of open what we want to do here. So 
I'm going to try to maybe pick an open-ended pantheon. I feel like Divine Spark is a really open-ended pantheon. Yeah, I feel like I feel like uh, Divine Spark is a really open-ended pantheon that you can get value out of it no matter what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, let's go for Divine Spark. I think that's a fun one to play with. I think Divine Spark is just, it's just a fun little pantheon, you know? You can do interesting things with it. And let's head up here. Okay. There's Hazor, who is an industrial city-state, which is exciting. They also have a mission for me. Train a heavy chariot, send a trade route, inspiration for state workforce, train an archer. I'm hearing more and more barb camps appearing. Let's head back here. Make your way over there. Unit needs orders. Oh, hello, there's Crater Lake. They purchase any building with faith in the city that owns this tile. God damn. That's incredible. And there's Monaco, who are unfortunately likely to get Crater Lake. They're an entertainment city-state, so I just got plus one uh, amenity in my capital, which is cool. That's nice. Let's see, what is your mission? You want me to trigger Eureka for masonry. Uh, I don't have any stone, unfortunately. I don't know if working food here makes sense. I think I would rather work production. It won't actually shave a turn off my settler, though, so... All right, what can I do with this guy? I guess I could buy those two tiles and put farms on them, but I want to save my money for buying the granary in here because I just don't have the time to build it. There's some camels out here on the desert. I'm going to go to the next turn. Looks like there might be the delicate arch here, I think. I want to say, and that's what this is. Oh, hello, yes, of course. You attack me. Of all the options you had. Yeah, of course. Alright. It needs orders down here. Yep, yeah, there's the Delicate Arch. This gives you plots are 20% cheaper to purchase for any civilization that owns this tile. Very cool. I love I really love this spread of mods that I have in the game. I think they make the game more interesting and, and more fun to play. Uh, we're going to pick up mining after this, although I would also really like to pick up irrigation. Mining into irrigation, I think, is the move. Oh, another city-state. This is a maritime city-state, and your mission is to train an archer as well. Well, isn't this just your lucky day that we are, in fact, literally about to train an archer and get some envoys with a bunch of different city-states? Trigger an inspiration for craftsmanship. Oh, that's unlikely to happen, so we're just going to erase this mission, sadly. Rika for masonry, heavy chariot, send a trade route. Building a chariot wouldn't be a bad thing to do. Um, you may as well go get in position for this. You cross this river, unit needs orders, let's pop up here, then here, and we'll go to the next turn. So we actually almost have a golden age here, which is craziness. Um, if we could find a little bit more stuff, maybe get a little bit more error score. There's Antananarivo. Antananarivo. And you are, I believe, a cultural city-state, and your mission is to construct a government plaza. That is something we will be doing. Excellent. I'm going to make an effort to do city-state missions, like I said before. Uh, let's get you to move over towards this encampment so that we can clear it out. You go here. Oh, hello. I'm honored to meet you. We'll exchange information on our capitals. I will send him a delegation, even though I really don't want to spend the money. There's Hattusa. What is your mission, Hattusa? Hattusa. Hattusa Matata. Trigger an inspiration for early empire. That is something that might happen. What a wonderful day. Alright, there's craftsmanship. We can build a national epic, and we can get production towards builders. So we are going to go ahead and get to work. There's also the heroic epic here which gives land units in the start city start with a free promotion and gain culture equal to the 25% of a unit's cost when producing a non-civilian unit in this city. That's pretty nice. Well, where is the settler by the way? I feel like the settler has taken forever to get out. 
Shrine of the Ancient, your holy site districts get plus two gold for each building in the district. Uh, I kind of like that idea. Plus three great profit points per turn. Where, what do you build it in? Do you build it in a holy site? You do. It's mutually exclusive with all of these other ones. So I'm thinking... We'd maybe like to get that at some point. I think this is also mutually exclusive. No, these are these are national wonders that aren't mutually exclusive. This one is, because it's built in the encampment. But this one is not. So... I think I'd like to build the Library of National History in my capital. So we might skip out on some of those. <clears throat> Definitely want to build this in my capital, though. Let's get to work on Early Empire, since we're looking to expand. Uh, you keep heading down here and exploring. Hello. Move this way. You're hanging out here. Settler's about to be done. You pop up here, see what you can find. Looks like nothing too important is happening. Okay, two turns until we finish writing. I have to. I do have to keep in mind though, like the game. It feels like the game is going slower, but it's actually because we're playing on a slower game speed. Um, <clears throat> I wanted to settle over here. I also wanted to settle down here to get this really nice campus, so I might make my way down here first. Of course, I don't have an escort unit, so we might wait off on that. We'll do major damage to him, and even if he runs this way, we should be able to catch him before he gets back to that. So... Yeah, we have this guy. Do I want to go for the granary? I think I want to grab a trader, and then I'll place down this. Where do I want to settle this guy? Hmm. Do I have the boost for irrigation? I do already have the boost for irrigation. I could go settle up on the wine. Or on the citrus. I think the wine would be a better spot because the tiles are just a little bit better up here. Hmm. I wanted to spread my cities out a little bit. So I want to be at least um, four to five tiles away. So I'm thinking I'll settle up here. Ideally, I would settle towards my enemies, though. Almost all my enemies are down this way. I guess I could settle here. One, two, three. Little encampment city in there. So here. Hmm. Let's spread our cities out. I'm going to send you up to the north because I feel a little bit more secure going up that way. You're going to pop over here. Looks like we found Palanku, who are also... Uh, Palin Q, who give us... I don't even know how to say this, but they give me amenities as well, which is exciting. You head this way. You're going to hang out there. Unit needs orders. Let's pop over this way, see what we can find. John Curtin is quite happy with us. I might see if I can get a friendship with him. We'll see. Writing means sharing. You head up this way to go deal with this. You move there, unit needs orders, you pop over there. We now have riding, it's official, we'll put a campus right there. Do I want to work on the campus of the trader first? I think I'm going to work on the campus first. Unit needs orders, pop off. So let's pull back a tile, shoot this guy. Keep exploring with you. Keep exploring with you. I've got some land to fill in over here. I'd like to know more about. So do I want to settle on the wine? I could sell the wine, which would let me get my other stuff quicker. Yeah, I'm going to settle on the wine. As cool as this little canal is, I think settling on the wine gives me benefits that I really want to take advantage of. Namely being able to sell my resource directly to John Curtin. Get a bunch of his money, so it looks like he'll pay me like 220. Mm. 212. 10. 28. 208. So I will accept that deal, and what that should allow me to do 
is to purchase a granary in my capital in the not too distant future, which will allow us to grow a little bit quicker. Uh, requires a monument building. So what do I want to do in this second city? I really do need a builder to develop the city. I don't think I'm going to be building a campus over here because it's not very good campus locations. But, on the same token, I'm already kind of started the trader over here, so I don't want to do that here. I could get more units. I don't think that matters. We already have fresh water, so we don't need the granary. I also don't really need the monument. I think I'd like to get the builder to get these two tiles improved. Uh, certainly. Uh, maybe I'll stick down some details here. I guess, in theory, I could go for an aqueduct here. A commercial hub here. A harbor here. And then this would be like a reasonable... Reasonable spread of stuff to do in this city, I think. Just focus on... I, don't, I You know, I want to focus a little bit, have my cities be a little bit more focused, because the, the land is pretty flat, so we're not going to have as, quite as much production. I did just kind of lay out a bunch of different districts in my capital, but that's because I plan on getting a lot of great people points from it. Um, pull back a tile and shoot. You're waiting there for your moment to shine next turn. We're about one era score away from uh, getting a golden age, which will be... Pretty fun and exciting if we can pull that off. Oh, I should have maybe retreated here. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy another archer to fight off this horseman because that scout did, in the end, make it back. Can I bait the horseman to not attack my archer next turn? Because well, he's going to, probably going to attack the archer. I have to pull the archer back. I have to put this archer in front. And then if I can get my builder to like occupy one of these tiles over here, I can bait the horseman away. Even though I'm losing my builder charges, it's fine. We'll get them back. It just... Obnoxious, more than anything else. I think that's the best way to get out of this little conundrum. As long as this guy survives, and he should. Yeah, that's what I was hoping for. And then you're gonna go here, and you're gonna go right there to try and bait this horseman into attacking you. <clears throat> Ooh, a goody hut, very nice. Exciting. So hopefully he takes the bait. Okay, this is actually totally fine too, because now we can shoot him twice. We're gonna... Oh, what did I do? I thought he would die. God damn it. Right, head back over there. There's some faith. Somebody's already getting great scientist points. How many religions are in this game? Can't tell. Hello, Norway. It's an honor to meet you. I don't have any money. I guess I could send them a delegation. It'd be friendly. But yeah, I think that's an interesting little start to this epic speed game on a slightly lower difficulty. I'm going to call that the end of the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are excited for this series. I know I'm really enjoying this more relaxed approach because, good God, I don't think I could handle another DD game here. But the way they've been going for me lately, uh, it's been pretty rough. But yeah, I'm going to call that the end of this, the episode. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. Please remember to subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Remember to leave a like if you want to directly support my channel. And remember to leave a comment if you want to give me your feedback. Other than that, I want to say I love you all very much. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.